Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do factory reset a Toshiba laptop back to a factory settings. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu, just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you want to proceed to type in reset into the start menu. Best manager should come back with reset this PC right above system settings. Just want to left click on that one time here. So with this new settings window that comes up on the right side here underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall its windows. Left click on the get started button right here. So we have two options. We either keep your files, which will remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files, which I would still personally create a backup of your personal files and documents to an external media source like a DVD or USB flash drive as well as the option to remove everything which remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So because we want to do a complete factory reset I'm going to select the second option here to remove everything and there will be a couple more prompts we have to go through before we finalize this reset. Okay, so it's going to ask you when to clean the drives too. So the first option, just remove your files, which is quicker, and I would honestly suggest it if you're going to be keeping your device. And the second option, remove files and clean the drive. So if you're going to be donating your computer or giving it to somebody else, I would suggest the second option. But for most people, the first option, to just remove your files, will be sufficient. So we are going to have one further prompt we're going to have to address, just basically confirming that resetting will remove all of the personal files and user accounts on this PC, all apps and programs, and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Just left click on the reset button right here to commence the process. It will take some time. Please let it run. And once we get back to do some further prompts that require explanation, I will jump back into the video.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Alright everybody, I'm back. So our Toshiba has been restored back to factory settings that's running Windows 10. So at this point, you should be good to go. Put any programs back on your computer that you had to remove during this process. And I would recommend creating a system restore point once you have everything set up the way you like it. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.